Hello folks and welcome to SFX effect zero on Profile Production and the next part of Dying Light 2. So we're gonna search these bodies. We accidentally died. I think I might by accident actually have hit the uh, blow uh, a container. But we can go down here and just sneak up behind this guy and take him down. Is there any way to abort the distress call? Get off me! Oh wait! My weapon's broken, isn't it? At least I took down all the bad guys uh, first time uh, with, uh, without any problems really. I mean I killed them um, all by uh, just using sneak attacks. I think I got a skill for me. No, I did not. It was close though. Aiden, how's it going? You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the Marian kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. It's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. No, you don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm messing around with bandits, and uh, Tamer the Infected is the main enemy. Well, at least it's supposed to be the main enemy, but I'm. Um, but, um, made the sneak attacks, I managed to take down the bandits quite easily. The sneak mechanic in Dying Light 2 is so much better than what's in Dying Light 1. I mean, it's not uh, like uh, the sneak mechanic in the Elder Scrolls series, because that's me, uh, sneak mechanics have always been fucked up. <laughs> Sophie, I'm haunted by bandits. Hey, her. Can you take care of the bandits that are haunting me? I don't like him. <laughs> I think I should get some UV flares. I'd probably be very good at doing night run. Uh, there should be a fire here. Can I sit down somewhere around here? I'm 
mean, I want to sit down by the campfire so I can actually get my health back. I mean, I could uh, do that uh, by a storyteller, so it would make sense if I could do that now, too. Yeah, I hear you, but I'm not coming to you. I'm not doing nighttime story until I get the uh, higher levels. Well, unless I have to. Which uh, I probably have to, uh, to do more than once already. Uh, if I, I can't sit down and do that, so. Can a bandage just de aggro me? In the bushes. <laughs> I mean, they're not uh, stupid enough to attack hey, me. Here. Where's Sophie? Why oh. were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here. Okay, if we're anyway gonna wait, I suppose uh, our health uh, go, uh, will regenerate. Wait, what? What? Okay, we're in a dream. We're definitely in a dream. Yeah, dream. We won't be able to loot anything here, so let's just go to uh, fo follow the boys. Let's yeah. just do the direct quest because. Looting something in a dream state and then actually get to keep it, well, that's a uh, pretty much zero percent chance. Are you? I mean, looking around is also on you. See, that's empty. Oh, what the fuck, it's on fire. Am I dying in the same state? Uh, pretty unlikely. Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. Torn damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. What's next? Uh, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Bernie, shut up! I did! If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. I was... I went there super fast. I never went so fast that I ended up in the middle of him. It was just uh, pure luck that I didn't uh, actually get killed. Yes. But we'll do something good for the city one day. 
If I hadn't gotten to the loot space, I would have drawn straight in into them. Birdie, to your help. He's dead. You can't say to your health is the dead. You just say hope you're having it better in the afterlife or something like that. You can't say to the health is the dead. Tell me about Birdie. I gather you were close with Birdie. You tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. <laughs> yeah. Don't try to write poets in apocalypse. Kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. Okay. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing the sure Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Zor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. Uh, I swear. Well. I'll gut them. Real slow. Yeah, how do I get over? By peace. Nothing says it has to be night time for this. At least I don't see anything that says it has to be night time. So, uh, what the hell? I can go to the roof uh, during daytime. I'll tear them apart. At least we don't have to deal with the uh, these creatures or that um, these creatures call a lot of on that uh, to them so yeah yeah I know there's an in the to container somewhere nearby how do I get over this so it's like just going down here then doing this and this that's uh, how you want me to do. That's uh, like the non hundred percent way. <laughs> Damn it. I hate I hate this one. Alright. So, let's check for another way up. Yeah. Okay. So I need to have some height to be able to get up on that. Yeah. I've heard everything. Let's talk. What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. <laughs> Why would that be a problem? It doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie, I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. It'd be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere. 
with a piece of your hide cut out. Not necessarily. Sounds like a, pretty, a little bit pleasant, actually. <laughs> you came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Seems that the peacekeepers trust the people of the bazaar. are not necessarily They're more dangerous than they seem. Bad guy. And there's, they're not necessarily the bad guy, but they don't seem to really. Wait, that was no height at all again. Oh, come on, you could have grabbed that easily. That was no hard thing to grab onto. Do I need to be extra careful to trying to get back up there? I mean, I know uh, for a fact that in. IRL, I can fall it's three to four meters without taking any damage at all. He's not here. I, I think we must be. Herman is must here. Dad, it's still early. One thing. Hey, Alberto. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. Uh, she said the. Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with uh, uh, not working with the. Uh, it's broken. That. Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why? What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? It's not very interesting. It's not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, 
he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. Can I sit down? Hey you, Dry County. Let's get wasted. I want to hit you because of that. And there you are. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! Do your help! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We had been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. And he led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. She said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? It's not a re reason to keep secrets anymore if we want to find her. About my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Can I push him off the roof? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Push him off the roof. There, on the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Oh, just throw him off the roof, all right. I still don't have much health. I mean, I could sleep two times, and uh, that would uh, take me, give me the health I need. And it uh, should uh, keep. Uh, <coughs> I could get so many med kits that it wouldn't matter if I slept or health or anything like that. So, but this time it's different. Hold it. Damn it. Have you 
come to lurk or help. Apparently, the peacekeepers are watching us. Yeah, I know. Let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them, too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Bandit camps. Approach the bandit camp. Use your binoculars to identify every po entry point. Locate the camp leader and identify the potential environment opportunities. To take a bandit camp, you need to kill the camp leader and his lieutenants, and then claim the camp flag tower. When you claim the camp, you establish a safe zone and earn additional rewards, XP, weapons, outfits, etc. Okay. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one is suicide. It's got the most guards. I need to uh, take out that guy. And you go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Okay, I need to uh, kiss the... Uh, Okay, there's a horn guy up there, so I need to kill him secretly, and that horn guy there also, without them noticing me. There's another horn guy there, and a leader, and that's another horn guy yet again. So, we need to kill the horn guys. That guy is probably the best one to start with. I can uh, sneak up behind him and take him out, and then uh, move upwards and take out that guy. That horn guy is going to be harder to take out, but uh, I think we're going to move from the other side and just keep on moving uh, and try to take out as many as we can with, uh, with sneak. Actually, how does my weapon look? Iron sharpen, a stick, sticky pipe, gun. Yeah, I lost uh, my best weapon. That, let's see... How the, was it uh, you actually... Okay, so I can't modify a blunt weapon, but I can modify <coughs> sharp weapons. Sharp? This one I can modify. But it's not that uh, good. I can only use spark. Oh, so the modify I bought earlier, was that just like one time use? I know, I already... Change your plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. I don't think... find an access point. Kill this guy. Oh, 
I need to get up to kill that guy. Seem to be pretty okay down here right now at least. Don't cause me problems. Wait, that's my guy. I try to do anything here <laughs> right now it's not gonna go well I need to take down the horn guy <laughs> without uh, without uh, without uh, racing letting him use the horn okay he came down means if I can get the horn guy The whole guy is the one that I need to take down because he can call in the fucking army here. See where the horn guy goes. If it goes to the other side, yeah. I lost my own all of my health directly. Come on. What? Oh come on! How many are they? Come on! 
Understand why I want to take down the horn guy without being detected? That guy would uh, cause me more problems. That's why I'm trying to take him out without being detected. You could have come and helped a little bit earlier, you know. Alright, I'm gonna need some uh, healing if I'm gonna keep on doing this. Uh, let's just craft three of them. Should help me enough. <coughs> um. Unequip. I don't want to accidentally use them. So. <coughs> do that okay there's a horn guy there and there's a horn guy there but I think uh, considering I'm in a high spot I think I can take down at least one horn guy that horn guy gonna cause me problem it's gonna be hard to get my hands on but Right now we hold this position, at least. I'm using my more strongest weapon right now. Wait, we got a skill point, didn't we? Yeah. Alright, and um, power attack. Yeah, hold and release. Press S to just right time. Perfect block staggers enemies longer and triggers also a move effect which allows additional follow-up tactics to be executed more easily. Or perfect dodge. Press, uh, so a power attack would be good when they're blocking. Because it also brings them out of block. But <coughs> being perfect uh, perfectly parry them would they stagger them for longer or I would be able to put a better dodge but I think power attack is the one we want because uh, it will be way easier that way kill the and use lieutenant Guys has his back turned. How do I get over there? He's jumping down with that. Oh, <laughs> I could uh, I couldn't hold it. <laughs> it was just too good. Let's throw a brick at a random guy. He seems to be alone down there. No, wait. There are more than one. I can see three people totally. So just wait until he has his back turned to me. And then I'll throw the brick to distract them, and then uh, and then jump over there and kill him fast as possible. Because <laughs> if he sounds the horn, I would need to be to get to a tactical position. <laughs> I 
There's several people there. Kill for a cigarette right now. The horn guys are the ones that are most uh, troublesome. I think I'm gonna wait till it's has back turn, jump over this, and uh, cry, uh, start sneaking again, and then jump up there and start sneaking yet again. Because I can't jump while sneaking, which is ability that would be very useful in these scenarios. We sure ever all of these bandits are level one. It shouldn't be too much trouble handling them, but I wanted to get the horn guy out of my way just in case. I think that was all the horn, uh, horn guys there were. Oh, there's another horn guy right there. Could the technique just jump down there and try to take out the horn guy in one thing, in one attack? He's right by the lieutenant, uh, that should be the strongest one. Someone a guy just Okay, it didn't work against him. Son of a bitch! He walked into the spikes and just died! He was the guy that was supposed to be hard to kill! Okay, you can't sneak up on lieutenants, that's good to know. If you sneak up on them, they don't, uh, it doesn't really matter. What they said, looting inside the damn bandit camp will disappear after you claim it. Yeah, I didn't know that. She's Bravo, Pilgrim. The green one, Pilgrim. Any kind of. Remember, Pilgrim. Uh, well, at least I know that next time. Yeah, there's no loot anymore. At least next time we know it. How are you? Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? 
Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the maiden. Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the renegades. Remnants of the old army. Stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. Yeah, uh, he talks. We can say this and... Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. Oh, I have to uh, get no there first. Okay, hold on a second. I need to open this drink. Oh, damn. It's ice cold. Could be because I have uh, some frozen food right next to my drinks in the fridge. But, uh... uh <laughs> but uh, it's no problem. Uh, so... Um, some frozen food uh, don't usually don't uh, transfer the frost uh, over to our other things. But damn, it's called a hold. <laughs> Alright, we need to get there faster. I'll pray for you. Wait, I don't think uh, that's a really problem. Okay. Thirsty the axe. That actually seems like a pretty good thing. But, yeah, let's see. I have a brawl of a shirt and a tank. I have this unique chest plate, but, yeah. This is my best weapon. Well, I can sell this nail stick because it's just 18. How much is these value? 40 only. Those are value 5. Alright, um, these both have gear armor. So let's, let's sell uh, this and this. Because uh, this is my sell stuff, so. Actually. Light up. Brawler, brawler. This is three point one damage with uh, uh, with one-handed weapons, and uh, damage resistance to human enemies is three point one. This is damage resistance to human enemies one point five. Stamina cost, melee weapons cost less, and uh, you get more combat XP. It is worse, even though it's technically better than that. We need XP. Alright. <coughs> Tank or brawler? Wait. Stamina cost, melee weapons is minus 5 and two-handed weapons is uh, four, plus 4. This is combat XP. So this is the best one to use right now. This is still ranger. So that's good. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, you have to check what they actually do. Wait. See? Wait. Uh, let's apply this and I'll apply electricity also. Electric parts is really hard to come by uh, nowadays, uh, so as far as I know. Alright, so now uh, let's go over there. Thanks. If you ever need something, just ask for Christmas. How far away is it? Not that far, it's pretty close. Ah. 
There are some walkers outside, but it's not really a problem. <laughs> I wish I could jump over the walkers. I need to stop sometimes and just uh, check my surroundings a little bit. Just uh, you can try to do it as best we can. Hey I heard some noises coming from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck you. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor. And maybe you will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. I cannot do that. How nearby? Shit. I'm too late. Sophie! Barney! You there? Sophie? Sophie That's a peacekeeper. Since there's only one person here died. Uh, Oh, I found the electric pot. That's good. It says an inhibitor container is nearby, so I want to know where. Well, uh, it seems that there's only one way to go, though, so... That says SX... Do you do that? I pressed jump to jump up on there so I could see better. What does the game do? Yeah, it thinks no, you want to jump over and kill yourself. Containers behind there. Well, good to know at least. But I have to actually go outside for this. Yeah, I have to go over there, so I should go over this bridge, climb up there, go down there, and then go over that bridge. <laughs> So I can just press space and hold it. Well, uh, it will make me still go away with. It. 
I knew it! Those ladders you can drop them down. But they won't let me drop the one uh, down the other one. So we don't get attacked from behind. One or two of these probably gonna wake up. It's probably gonna be a safe zone because this looks like there's something that would be a safe zone. Let's check indoors first. <sighs> we need money, so looting everything is uh, pretty much the best uh, thing you can do to try to get as much money as possible. Put a pestle. It's a chance that we're gonna have to fight so healing would be a good thing problem is I can't uh, really heal because the game starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Help Aether and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? I don't want to do this. Barty, wait! What? Where the hell did you come from? Uh, that was not fair that they came from from behind me. I don't know. Now I have the right weapon equipped for this. Because I lost a bit of health just uh, get, uh, trying to get the, uh, to the right uh, weapon. Are you talking about yourself? Hey, that's not fair. my hand locks up I can't do anything because it means one finger is always straight and I can't bend it which means I can't control the game properly I didn't want to fight them but and this is bonus fault let's see are there anything good nearby why don't you even listen to Barney? I'm the good guy here. Plus three medicine. That's good. I 
because uh, you don't want to grab everything before we go on. Well, let's go and kill Barney. Fuck you, figures. <laughs> I can block him. Herman, give it up. Let me talk to Sophie. I haven't done anything wrong. I don't want to kill Herman. The death hit me way off. Uh, oh come on! I don't even get the anything to I can do there. Oh come on! That doesn't even touch me. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! I'm trying... I'm avoiding! Oh, come on! Before he was allowed to do two hits in a row, not three. Yeah, and uh, not even letting me avoid him this time. That will hurt him quite a bit. Oh yeah, get hit by nothing! <laughs> oh yeah! Hit me through blocks! Hit me through everything! Just I can't move! I can't even move! Half of the time! Half of the time I can't move! Oh, 
That's very unfair. <laughs> Stop being able to hit me outside where you can. can't even avoid half of the time! No, you die! You're not getting to live! Herman dies. Can I play a... I hate that guy. He hit me through this fucking pillar! He shouldn't be able to do that! The goons can't do that then, so he shouldn't be able to do that. How do I get up there? Oh. So Harkon saved me, right? Bonnie, kid. Find Bonnie. Yeah, I was trying to do something like that. I lost all my med kits for that. Well, then I you come from? You got a sixth sense, kid. I knew you were gonna get in trouble. Barney wanted to kill you. It means he has something to hide. Something about Lucas, or worse. What do you mean? The murder of the commander. Now the takeover of the water tower. That's no coincidence, Aiden. Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the peacekeepers himself. I'll try to find him. Be careful. I'll go warn Eto. Let's keep in touch. I think I could have uh, let Herman live, but I was so pissed at him after that battle that I not uh, did not even give him the chance. Barney, come out! Come on, man! I will find you. That makes sense. Well, I got lucky. Can you just... <laughs> so I'm not allowed to get uh, back up there. Great. That's the place I can uh, maybe get up. Oh, come on! Don't jump over! Jump up, not over! How the hell hard is it for the game to understand that? Not up, not over, up! Climb up. I will kill Barney. I'm not, uh, not letting him live. Uh, 
I'll get it. Okay, maybe that's how they want you to do. That's creepy. Night runner hideout. Stone unlocked. That's something. False climbing? Move false on ledge and move uh, right side. Or sleek running, increase your speed while navigating tricky obstacles like slope, balance boards, climbing pit pipes, and uh, openings. Or dot press shift while running to gain a brief burst of speed. That would be good to uh, make long jumps, but I do think false climbing is the better option. How do I get back down over there then? I do think I can get over there pretty easy if I fall down and somehow manage to sit line. <laughs> Which uh, didn't work of course. I mean... <laughs> I should be able to zip line uh, that to uh, actually survive. Yeah, I'm not jumping over there again. How do I get down from here safely, actually? Okay, that doesn't work. Is there any say? Oh yeah, the trash. It's a trash, right? Outside for to get over there. I got a military airdrop, which uh, seems to be pretty good. Hey, you asked nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. 
And if not, you spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. This is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? So if you shoot, what are you waiting for? Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Ator promise you? Ator promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water. And I'll take you to the central loop myself. Okay, first, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. But do you really believe that I just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous, and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. Will you help? Fine. What's the plan? Let me see why I went again. Jack and Joe escaped. We have a chance to take the tower and find- I the killed you! Before fucking Ator does. We'll deal with the peacekeepers and get you I to killed the Herman. immediately afterwards. First, we need to secure access to water. How do I get up I'm the I'm sure it's that he was dead. I thought the man sealed off access. A few That's extra why times. I'm asking you. So you want me to climb it? If you do, you'll save a great many people, Aiden. We won't forget this. Somewhere that I can rest. Wait, it was over here, right? I can rest here, can't I? No, it's night time. I don't want to go anywhere. That's the safe spot is here. Over there. There's where I can sleep, and there's not where I am. Well, there's only one thing to do. Until morning. I killed Herman. And I wanted him to stay dead. Nothing exactly gets better right now.
I mean, I want to get them the water, so we, we can likewise do uh, go towards that objective right now. trail you get when you start the game he already is uh, still on the phone for this whole thing just keep <laughs> starting on the virus got banned uh, technically but GRE they kept uh, studying it for military purposes so <laughs> and of course uh, that meant the virus got out uh, eventually anyway and uh, well it's Looks thing. like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Sophie says once I help them get the water back, she'll show me another passage to the central loop. Sounds good. She grew up here. She knows every inch of this place. Better than most taxi drivers. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that. I need re recipe. I need to be able to craft a lot of shit. What's this? <laughs> You're done. Okay. That was a trap. I thought it was a little uh, suspicious, uh, so... <laughs> well, the bandits seem to have gotten smart in games. <laughs> I don't think they're following me all the way over here. I mean, I have to do side jumps to get over here. Not that. that wasn't even slippery! What damn? Oh yeah, walkers. Sophie, Jack and Joe are in the tower. You're gonna blow it up. Dear God. If they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. The tower is mine. Try to farm the charges. Found one charge. Now, find out some explosives. But yeah, I know I can do that, but I don't need it. Somewhere. I think it's 
bad if we just try to disarm as much as possible, as fast as possible. And uh, we can't worry about the other thing. Can't worry about other things about the inhibitor container later. Jack holes or the PK. They'll be honest the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. We lost it. We can't fight everyone. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Stop! Or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear! Found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. If you're not listening, you're done. I want it to be over. I need to leave the city safely. I help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe. Hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once! Well, play nice with Barney? What for? So we can get the fuck out of the bazaar! After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker, gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. It set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I don't want to kill anyone. I will help you. I can get you out of town. But first, I have my own business to take care of. You need to hide somewhere and wait. Sounds like a huge risk. No risk, no gain. He's lying, Jack. There's no other way. Fuck! I don't like it. 
I fucking don't. But okay. We'll be waiting for you in the tunnels near the Tango Motel. We'll give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now give me the detonator, Jack. One that um, kills the least people. That's a choice I take. Uh, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? Oh, come on. It's not this. I give everyone water. Everyone has control of the water. <laughs> then you assign a facility to the peacekeepers or survivors to start controlling the zone around it. Then a faction takes over a zone. It introduces it to structures. Peacekeepers start installing combat focused traps while survivors build parkour helpers and then make travel, uh, travel so easy. The more facilities you assign to a faction, the stronger it gets. So I can, so it can install even better structures. The current state of a city alignment can be accessed on the map menu. Problem with this is, it's either peacekeepers or survivors. Survivors install parkour, which, uh, well, it won't help me uh, in the long run. But traps, that would help me. But I don't trust the peacekeepers. Zip lines. I mean... I'm uh, I'm not really... I'm the person that I think the survivors are the best. If I assign it to the peace cover, I get traps. And I do want traps. But if I assign it uh, to the... <coughs> The survivors, I get to the one that I think I have more, well, more karma. <laughs> I mean, the peacekeepers will only exploit uh, uh, the survivors uh, for water. But I don't think the survivors would exploit uh, the peacekeepers for water. I mean, I could try also play it uh, kind of fun. And kind of just uh, give, uh, make sure everyone's out. Wait, uh, it's five pieces here, so we need to eventually, anyway, and sign either with the peacekeepers or the survivors. Yeah, unless we take this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Airbags. Landing pads, survivor revival. When you fall in a survivor zone, a helping hand will revive you close to the point at you fall or fell. So I can get help, events, upgraded airbags, two way zip lines. Yeah, that would actually be good. And this would give us car traps, Pico Racer Cannon. That seems a Pretty good. Electric traps, crossbow pack. Wait. Receive a semi automatic crossbow as a set of a blueprint for a new element bolts. So, so I'm pretty much uh, screwed over because I would get a <laughs> cinematic crossbow. I want a bow, not a crossbow, but still. Hack on. Good seeing you. Hey then, where the fuck are you? 
Bonnie knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Bonnie's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. I'm told you're the one to thank for the water. Good job, son. I haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous movie. You know, this used to be a bell tower in the Middle Ages. Getting that, using that would actually be best. Is it water the restriction? You can go search Barney's stuff. Coast is clear now. I mean, I'm just technically just going slowly, seeing what happens and so on. I'm probably not much that's what's happened. So now it's 20 ones I should sell. Because now I seem to only get weapons that are better than 20. Sell all valuables. Uh, now I actually have uh, some good money. with that. Can I get to investigate it? That ain't no proof. Oh, this place is a pigsty. Something. Hey, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... 
such human skin. Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't Norris. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm on the same with two Stop. sides right now. What's going on here, for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? Uh, of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death? Or when he was still alive? You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. But your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to aid her. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. That seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. What am I supposed to do, really? I mean, sure. I want. I would try. I can try with the survivors, and that's a good thing. But I, I mean, it's so much uh, to do. Let's uh, divert from the main story for now. Then we divert from the main story and just go around a bit. Just uh, not uh, doing really. Just doing side quests for now, and just trying to get ourselves stronger. I mean, 
don't think the PKs is the best one to side with. At least not for a person uh, like me. For me, uh, siding with them is not a good thing. Got to take the trade. I got meds. Uh, torch, blade axe, the bomber. And I should have something to sell. Nope. <laughs> Bad enough. Come back and see me. You want? I got. I could probably sit down. I'll probably get uh, copyrighted by that if I stay here for too long. <laughs> I mean, some people are really brutal uh, copyright. They think they use <laughs> you use their content and then just just screw you uh, over. There's zip lines absolutely everywhere now. Good to see you. Good to see you too, I suppose. <laughs> this looks like a place uh, that you should definitely raid. Uh, good considering we are infected. Oh, was I up or down? Seems to have down, was it? Yeah, I know where it is. I was trying to find a way in. I need to return at night to face the monsters right here. But I'm looking for the other things right now. How do I get into this? Am I get enter to the roof? Yeah it is. But I can't get in. It's just because it's just because it's daytime I can't get in. I mean that's uh, not a lot of friendly. <sighs> I'm gonna keep the spell on me. If I can. Uh, I wish I had some tomatoes. Or garlic. Or even a carrot. Uh, and another life. I don't see you demanding anything. Actually, we should end this episode uh, right here, I think. So, at least that was all I have for Dying Light 2 this time. Now, so, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.